Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up the Meadow Helix IoT Pro Sigfox Micro Weather Station. The Meadow Helix IoT Pro Sigfox Micro Weather Station is an all-in-one design that features a helical radiation shield. The unique spiral flow pattern inside the shield maximizes ambient airflow around the sensor while providing superior protection to the internal temperature and humidity sensors from the elements and unwanted effects of solar radiation on the measurement of air temperature. We've had the station set up at the front of the Instrument Choice offices for quite some time and no maintenance has been required. On top of the unit there's a solar panel. This charges the internal lithium iron battery, capable of running the station for over 6 months without sun. Inside the radiation shield are the temperature, humidity and pressure sensors. On the base is a label where you will find the serial number and ID number. These are needed for connection to allmeteo.com and a cable for an optional rain gauge. If it's your first time installing the station, you'll need to activate the sensor. A magnet comes included with the station. Place the magnet near the white filter cap to turn the sensor on and off. A red light flashing on the sensor every 5 seconds indicates an on state. When on, insert the station onto the holder and secure with the flat nuts and washers. Mount the station outside to your mounting pole, post or object which does not expose large surfaces to the sun, does not throw shadows and allows air to flow freely through it or around it. We have secured our station to a mounting tripod. Once installed, go to weather.allmeteo.com in a web browser and log in. If you do not have a login, simply click sign up and register for free. This is the main landing page. On the left hand side are your options. Dashboard, this is the current view. This is where you'll see all your weather data once your station is set up. Below dashboard is my stations. Clicking this takes us to the setup page. Click the plus symbol to add a new station. The first step of registering a new station is selecting the location. Either retrieve the GPS location or find your location manually. Once your location is pinned, click next. Next, configure the weather station. You will need to add your elevation and the station's elevation above ground. It is essential to get this correct as the pressure values will be automatically converted based on total elevation then saved. If you're not sure of the elevation of your location, it can be googled. On this step, you can set up and add a rain gauge if you have one connected to your station. This can always be done at a later date. Click next. On this page, you register your station. Here is where you enter the station serial number that was on the base of the unit and select a name for your station. Setup is complete. We can now see our station has appeared under My Stations, but no data has been received yet. Returning to our dashboard and pressing refresh, you can see that our data has started to appear. On the top of the dashboard, we can see our selected station's name, the last update time and date, four tabs, these are dashboard, data, settings and forwarding, 24 hour trend graphs for each of our parameters, Moving the mouse across each of these trend graphs gives a breakdown of date and time measured or calculated levels. Scrolling down is a comprehensive graph. Clicking the tabs above will allow you to select which data you view. You can select to view data from the past 31 days, 7 days, 3 days, yesterday or today. Download the image and export the collected data. And lastly, on the first dashboard tab, we can view each sensor's minimum recorded reading time and date of the minimum recorded reading, average, maximum level and time and date of the maximum recorded level. Scrolling back up to the top we'll run through the other tabs in the dashboard. The second is data. Here you can see the time and date of all measured parameters from each data packet sent by the station. As you can see this is in 10 minute intervals. This data can be exported, select the data set required or download all data in a zip file. The next tab is settings. The first box is weather station settings. You can turn on or off data sharing. When this is on, data can be viewed on the map by other users. We'll show this shortly. Then there is device ID, serial number, location and provider, as well as the option to remove the weather station from your account. Below this, you can update your location if required. And lastly, on the right hand side, you can turn on or off sensors, as well as adjust the elevation and installation height. Last of all, you can set up data forwarders. To set this up, all you need to do is click new and enter in the requested information. We will quickly give a run through of the rest of the All Meto portal. Under World, you can view all other stations which have opted to have their data shared. You can zoom in and view stations from around the world. Clicking on any of the stations allows you to view the dashboard just as your own. 
Below world is user preferences. Here you can set up personal preferences including the day the week starts on, change the time between local and UTC and adjust your password. Under units you can adjust your temperature, pressure and length units of measure. Under graph you can choose the display gap for the graph, select rainfall display mode between event and cumulative and choose the rain accumulation time period. Next is integration. This details the Sigfox callback preferences and API setup. To set this up, simply follow the guide listed above. And that's how straightforward it is to set up the Meadow Helix IoT Pro Sigfox Micro Weather Station, plus a short overview of the platform. For more information on this station, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Contact details can be found in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.